going to see now interesting words of Dr. Kedar about terror altogether of Hamas. And there we see afterwards very interesting table about it. So let us see what Dr. Kedar says. So this is what he says. This is not his occupation, nor the unemployment, nor the existence despair. The terror attack that took place in Jerusalem, like any act of terrorism, hostility, and war in the history of the country, is another link in the sequence of the Jihad war, which has been going on for hundred years. This is Dr. Kedar, the famous historian about what is going on in Israel. So it's no solution. It is jihad, holy war, and therefore never can be stopped. So let us see the interesting table. So this is what we see in the table. The first thing we see in black here, no solution and Peter on. No solution to what? No Peter on? To the terror, you can see in red terror, and parallel very significant definitely in tables. Amazingly, you will see parallel Iran. You can see in black, Iran comes here. Also very interesting, because Iran, she is a supplier of weapons to the Patah and to the Hamas, Hezbollah. As they believe, according to the Islam, we can see Islam, which is minimal in the old Torah, unbelievable in the old Torah. You have here Islam in two letters, which is N. The Arabs, they believe in it, and according to what Iran understands and believes, according to the Islam, there's no place for Israel in the world. They have to wipe it out, this why they are not doing the bomb, and hundred thousand missiles against Israel. But according to the belief, Israel is Satan has the two wiped out from the world. But they disturb the Messiah to come, unbelievable. So this is again what you see here. So when it is jihad, when it is a holy war, you cannot solve it in politics with two states or three states. They will never be, never be satisfied unless Israel will be wiped out or checked away to so Europe back, as they said. Now what you have here also, Amalekite, you can see the word Amalek, Amalek comes here. As this is the evil force, the evil force which comes to attack Israel when they dedicate the service, when they transgress the Torah, it's the, Torah the Torah tells us when Israel came out from Egypt, they were attacked by Amalekite because the desert the Sabbath. Then also because they doubt Hashem minor iron there is God with us or not. Lack of faith, no. So today when you have the new government, when she's really government of the left, she's well against the Torah, against the Sabbath, as you know, clearly they say clearly they don't want Sabbath, they don't want impurity of life and all of this. So, no doubt that the Amalekites are far away for leaving Israel. So, interesting. So, what more we have here, which is most important, is the Messiah. Now, when Messiah, the Messiah will come, when Jews will repent, they will keep the Torah. You can see the Torah. Torah is like fire. And only then, the Messiah will come. Only when Jews will repent, will do Shuvah, will keep the Torah. Only then we'll have salvation, we'll Messiah, we'll have happiness and joy. But all the time the Jews unfortunately desecrate the Shabbos, transgress the Torah. So let's give part to the Samael. You can see here the evil angel who is in charge of the Amalekite. And he's the cause of troubles to Jews. So let us hope that Jews really will do true like the Rambam says. That Messiah will not come unless Jews will repent, will return to God. And as the 
Трахтен Санедринзе, Талмуд Сейсет, и в Джус видно тут Шува Видингни, Годвиле Пойнта Верихуэль, лидер Апон Землях, Хаман, и Перша, и Туда Вева Мания. Амалия, Виши, Алфа, exactly the same thing, want to wipe out Israel. And what was the solution to them? Just did Shua, return to God. And this is the solution which can be only, only when Jews will keep the Torah, keep the Sabbath, purity of life, men and women. Only the Messiah will come, and happiness and joy will come to the whole world.